Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Nick, the master Pranot artist behind Orthodox Handmade, and welcome to our 25th episode on YouTube, where we'll be discussing how to take care of your Orthodox prayer rope and addressing some common questions regarding. If you're new to the channel and appreciate content revolving around Orthodox topics, be sure to subscribe, hit the notifications bell to be notified when new episodes drop, and be sure to smash that like button. This will prompt the YouTube algorithm to recommend Orthodox Handmade's unique content and assist in growing our faithful audience. Guys, we're currently sitting at 2,501 faithful YouTube subscribers, and in keeping with tradition, this episode's new subscriber shout out goes to Ruben Nathaniel. Thank you very much for subscribing to Orthodox Handmade, brother. It is very much appreciated. Now, let's get right into the ways in which to look after your Orthodox prayer rope. As of late, I had come across something on Reddit where an individual asked, what is the appropriate way to take care of your prayer rope? I hope that this video won't cause too much of a heated debate between the washers and the non-washers out there, but there are some good points that I will mention that should be taken on board. Now, we must remember that Orthodox prayer ropes are handmade in different materials. Most likely rat tail, which is nylon, and the most common material that I use for my custom pieces. We also have paracord, which is polyester, and of course, traditional wool. Now, whether we are talking 100% wool or wool mixed with acrylic fibers, we'll treat woolen materials as all the same here. Now, the first point, cleaning. One of the most common questions I get is how do I, or how should I, wash my Orthodox prayer rope? I recommend not fully washing prayer ropes, especially in the washing machine. If you possess a lighter colored piece and a mark has gotten on it, warm soapy water and the careful rubbing action of clean hands on the dirty spot only should be enough. In this instance, there is no need to fully wash the prayer rope when only a tiny little bit has gotten dirty. But remember, rub gently. Number two, not stretch. Another aspect I would like to address is stretching the knots. There is a certain point where if the prayer knots are stretched slightly, pinching them together can return them to their original position, and you can feel the give in this instance. But if you stretch them too far, they will reach a point of no return and the stretch will be irreversible. This is the main reason why I create orthodox prayer bracelets with a drawstring to minimalize the stretch when putting the piece on. So just be careful there, guys. Another question I get a lot. What do I do when a prayer rope is broken? Well, when a prayer rope is broken from natural use occurrences and cannot be saved, the thing to do is to bury the piece. Now, I've heard of people burning prayer ropes to dispose of them, but I haven't personally had this relayed to myself. If it was me, I would bury the piece in the ground, especially the case with woolen pieces with no or wooden beading that would naturally decompose in the soil in as little as three to four months, depending on the environmental conditions, of course. Now, another question that I get a lot, can prayer ropes get wet or can they be worn in the shower? If you have a prayer necklace that can easily be taken off, then I'd remove it before having a shower. This eliminates the unnecessary wetting of the piece. However, prayer bracelets are more prone to stretching over the hand if taken off continuously, so in this instance, I would leave it on. In short, pieces can be worn in the shower, but if you can easily remove the piece, do so. That way you won't be waiting for the piece to dry for ages and ages. What if a wooden bead breaks? Yes, this has happened over time. Some wooden beads can crack over time due to differing temperature ranges and constant use of the prayer rope. If it's a perfect crack in half, or a crack in two pieces, you could try gluing the piece back together around the material. However, if it cannot be saved, then the piece can still be used, but aesthetically, you will notice that bead missing. Now, that may not bother people, or it may annoy some people, but keep in mind, you still can use the piece the beads aren't the most important aspect of the orthodox prayer rope. Final points here, guys. When using your orthodox prayer rope, be sure to use it carefully, but with full intent. It is not a bad idea to wash your hands prior to handling the piece and to inspect it every so often. Remember, if it was me, I would avoid any unnecessary washing unless, of course, the piece has gotten a mark or two on them. 
avoid stretching the prayer knots too far as they will not return to their original position after a certain amount of pull. All in all, common sense and care are my main tips. Ladies and gentlemen, well, there you have it. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed this episode and learned a little more about how to take care of your Orthodox prayer rope. Let me know in the comments section below of any issues you've had with your Orthodox prayer rope and how you remedied them. Also, if you have another care tip that you believe should have been in this video, let me know. Your input and contribution to the channel is always interesting and I know other brothers and sisters value it as well. Once again, if you like the content that I'm creating, be sure to subscribe, hit the notifications bell and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget we do new subscriber shout outs, so if you're a new subscriber, let me know in the comments section below by writing subscribe. Remember to follow Orthodox Handmade on social media where you can see all the custom tools for prayer and all new crystal icons that I hand make for the faithful all around the world. Should you be interested in having your very own prayer rope or crystal icons created, there are details in the description below or you're welcome to personally liaise with myself via direct message on both Instagram and Facebook. Now, as for our upcoming episode, I'm going to be leaving the topic as a surprise at this stage. Stay tuned and watch the upcoming Orthodox Handmade episodes that will appear on your screen now. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until next time, stay safe and God bless. Love